The third day of the National Veterans Wheelchair Games began with a crack of a bat. Softball is a crowd-pleasing and surprisingly fast-paced sport. Teams are assigned by a draw system, and the veterans have to work together towards a common goal, winning. Softball gives competitors the chance to discover their skills and learn about each other. Across town at the bowling event, bowlers tried to guide the ball to the pins. It may look easy, but finesse is the key to getting the highest score in this time-tested sport. Marines and other former service members were doing what they do best, hitting targets at the trap shooting range. Competitors tried to prove that their skills were still sharp by trying to break at least 25 of 50 targets to move on. Some veterans were introduced to kayaking, an exhibition event at the 30th National Veterans Wheelchair Games. This growing activity is liberating for these veterans, putting them on a level playing field with able-bodied kayakers. I haven't been on the water for 13 years or more. I, I didn't think I could do it. They had to talk me into it, but once I was out there, it was really, really enjoyable. Yeah, it was fabulous. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Who knows when I'm going to do it again, so beautiful. Thank you all. Rounding out the day was quad rugby, among the most popular sports at the games. Quad rugby is the only full contact sport for wheelchair users, and it's not for the faint of heart. The competition is fierce, and some of the world's best players compete in the wheelchair games. For the Department of Veterans Affairs, I'm Anthony Hardman.